the Sears Center Arena in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, about 30 miles northwest of Chicago. We're on this first weekend in March. It is the 43rd edition of the American Cup, the most important international competition held in the United States each year. American Yul Moldauer is the defending champion for the men from this event. He's also the leader today after two rotations. Two Americans in the top four at the moment. Alongside Moldauer, Alan Bauer in fourth place. Steve Schlanger with the Olympic gold medalist, Tim Daggett, Nastia Lukin, Andrea Joyce is also with us. And Moldauer, a terrific start to the defense of his crown from a year ago. Yeah, this he is a Sorry, this is a great spot that he finds himself in. Floor exercise was his first event. Absolutely fantastic. Almost halfway through the competition here and has a great lead. Yeah, he had his breakout really came at the American Cup. In the gymnastic circle in the United States, everybody has been talking about this kid since he was a little boy. Such an unbelievable talent. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet and just really an elegant gymnast. He won the American Cup last year, won the national title in the all around, went to the world championships and I was in Montreal and I'll tell you what, there was a buzz about Yul Moldauer. So clean, his execution, people were coming up to me. It was like, wow, where did this kid come from? I say, I've been, I've been watching him since he was a little boy, but just a really classy looking gymnast and he deals with the pressure typically very well. Got to talk to him earlier this week and spend some time with him. He showed me the background of his iPhone, the logo of Tokyo 2020. did not make the team for Rio, and that's made him even more motivated, hungry, already preparing for the next Olympic Games. It was actually fifth all around at the final Olympic trials. He's so light, and so he makes these strength parts look effortless. You see, he opens his hand right there. He does that to telegraph to the judges, I am not on my wrists at all, which would make the lever arm shorter and make it easier. Does it here as well? Tremendous swinger as well. And then right back to that cross, just freezing. Doesn't have the most difficulty in the world but certainly one of the cleanest gymnasts that you'll ever see, and he can stick too. Watch this, double-double. Oh! Yikes! That is really good news for Yule and really bad for everybody else. On a roll here just outside Chicago. We'll get his score in a moment. Meantime, over on the vault, this is the American Miley O'Keefe who turned 16 years of age earlier this week. So do a double twisting, laid out Yurchenko. And that was good, that was a great start. Right here on the vault. Good form in the air, got some great height, and let's look right here. So we're gonna look for extension right off the vault, little bit of Toes in the air, crossed over each other, so that'll be some deduction, but great landing. You see the chest up. But I'll tell you what, you never know how an athlete is going to perform until they're in that situation. This American Cup, it's on podium. It's obviously being televised live. It is one of the events that every kid that is in this competition, certainly the Americans, they dream of winning an Olympic gold medal, a world championships, a national title, and they want to be American Cup champion. She rose to the pressure right there. And a green color is a good score, as you see, 14.6. Less than a point of deductions, and this is the color-coded scoring system that just helps simplify what the judges are thinking. Green is good, red is a poor score, and yellow is kind of everything in between. There are two components to the score. One starts at a 10, 
And that's what we just showed you right there, deductions. The other part is the difficulty, what they do, and that's additive. The more you do, the higher your potential score. So Tim, as you mentioned, this is her first year as a senior athlete, was of course the junior national champion last year. And if we put her scores roughly, would have placed her second in the senior division. Well, here is the American Morgan Herd, reigning world champion. She was set to go on the vault a little while ago, but then had to wait because of an injury to the athlete who preceded her, and it caused a delay of about 15 minutes. Mao Yi suffered an injury on a fall coming off the vault, has been taken to a local hospital. It was so long, they had to give the athletes another warm-up period and Morgan was first up and this is her vault that double twist really nice good power a big hop on the landing but overall pretty darn good but you know Tim that's exactly what she told us all week as she said I feel like my difficulty is there but that's what I want to work on my execution my landing specifically on every single event including this one right here Good form in the air. Little bit of a pike down towards the end, but that was a big hop. How tough is it to wait through that kind of a delay, something that's rather unusual? Oh, very unusual, and you know, this is, of course, she's competed at the World Championships, but the American Cup is a big competition, a lot of pressure, especially now coming in as the reigning world champion, but she handled it so well. And you know, not just, not just the weight, but you know, it was a, <coughs> a pretty significant injury that now he, Sustained. Very scary to watch, and I'm hoping none of these athletes were watching when it happened. Bye, Alan. And now back over to the rings and the men. Yul Moldauer, a score of 14.3. So he has seized upon some momentum here today at the American Cup. I believe he's the only athlete on the men's side that has had three scores that are all in the green. Our exercise was great. The second event, Pommel Horse, tremendous and a really beautiful routine on rings. Capped it off with that stuck landing. He was seventh all around. The American Cup is brought to you by USA Gymnastics Safe Sport. Together we can. And by the National Gymnastics Foundation Athlete Assistance Fund. We are just northwest of Chicago in Hoffman Estates, Illinois, and after three rotation on the men's side, it is the American Yule Moldauer trying to defend his title at this event from a year ago. He's the leader over Sunway of China, James Hall of Great Britain, and Moldauer's fellow American, Alan Bauer, who is down there in fourth. Meanwhile, on the women's side, it is Miley O'Keefe, the American, at the top of the standings after their first rotation on the vault. The reigning world champion, Morgan Hurt of the U.S., not too far off the pace, though. She is in third. It may not look that hard, but that is a really complicated vault, executed great. Now Morgan Hurt on bars. Nice handstand position. Beautiful form. Now she'll do another release and connect down to low. She was a little close on that first one, but dealt with it extremely well. She talked to us about being better at the sticks. Do one more inside skill, gets a lot of points, a little shy on that handstand. And a little bit of a hop on the landing. A solid routine, gonna keep her in the game, but she can be a little better. She absolutely can, but this is also a new routine. She's had some upgrades pretty much on every event since the World Championships. And what a great way to start off her season, to come out here, test out those new skills. And that's something she is so great at, her form. So take a look, toes pointed, knees straight. So beautiful, as she said, really wanted to work on those landings. But this release, as you said to him, a little bit close, but was able to connect it into what we call a pack salto. Beautiful skill. 
And that, that's veteran-like right there because that was really close and didn't have a good swing coming into it, but you'd never notice. This is the dismount right here. Now look, look at the handstand position. These judges are brutal on that, and that hand goes down. That's at least three-tenths of a point off. She connects it, which gives her more, no, but more look more right here. That's what she's trying to get better at. She needs to be a little more patient with her landings. She wears glasses because she says contact lenses really collect all the dust that builds up. And so she prefers the glasses, but it's really a rare sight. You never see someone competing in glasses. Very, very unusual. Yeah, she, she told, I talked to her about it, you know, when she was first coming up and she said it, the chalk, it just made my eyeballs hurt. <laughs> and her score, 14.2. Got it. Just inside of two points of deductions. And you see that yellow right there. And, you know, as I said, you know, these judges, they are going to be really critical. And she had those handstands in the routine. And now over to the bars. And this is my Murakami, tied for first. If she were to win this American Cup, she would be the oldest woman to ever win it at the age of 21. World floor champion from last year in Montreal. Off to a good start so far here today. In the qualifying for the world championship, she actually was number one and really had the championship if she had stayed on balance beam. She came off, ended up fourth. But what a breakout performance for the Japanese women's national team. The men have just been on top. So dominant. Nice swing to a release skill there. Another release. Beautiful. Now that's the same one we saw Miley struggle with. She does basically the same skill. One of them is straddled, one legs together. That handstand very low. Back on track right there. She's a great gymnast. That cast to handstand also low. Going to be a deduction, but this is a pretty darn good routine. She's going to be in the hunt. So that is the end of this rotation for the women. Her score coming up. Yul Moldauer, the very charismatic 21-year-old American in a good spot on the men's side. He's the leader here in Chicago. Back in Chicago at the American Cup and the standings for the men. After four rotations, it's the 21-year-old American Yul Moldauer who has the lead over Sunway of China. Fellow American Alan Bauer rounding out the top four. While over on the women's side, still working their way through the early rotations at the American Cup. Two down, and it's the reigning world champion Morgan Hurd, the 16-year-old, who is leading the way. Once again, Steve Slanger alongside Tim Daggett and Nastia Lukin. And as far as Yul Moldauer, he has been on a roll. Got off to a strong start on the floor and has really just been building throughout the day. Absolutely. You know what? I have seen Yul have a lot of great competitions, but honestly, I think this is the best he has ever looked. He is on track to win two American Cups in a row. That is a very elite group of athletes that have done that. And as far as Morgan Hurd on the women's side, coming off that world championship title in Montreal last year. What a sensational moment for this young woman. It absolutely was. She came in, maybe not necessarily as the favorite to win the gold medal. Of course, teammate Reagan Smith went down moments before the competition started, but she delivered a performance of a lifetime. Best in the world. When we talked to her earlier this week, we said, what is it like to be the best in the world? She goes, me? I don't, I don't think you're talking That's about me. me. <laughs> <laughs> it's very cute. Uh, Yul Moldauer hopes to keep the momentum rolling here at the American Cup. We'll see him as we continue from the Sears Center Arena. A 14.5 on the parallel bars for Yul Moldauer, who continues his march to what he hopes will be back-to-back -back titles at this American Cup. And as I said, that's another green. Five events in the green. Doesn't happen. 
He was sick on Thursday during the warm-ups for this event, was trying to get over that, and I would say that he has conquered the illness coming in here today and really got off to that hot start and has not looked back. Love to know you guys, all my friends back in Colorado. Had a bit of a fever on Thursday. And now Morgan Hurd, the leader on the women's side. I got to spend quite a little bit of time with her in Texas a few weekends ago, and I was just so surprised. I've gotten to know her over the years, but so surprised about how mature she really is. Acted way beyond her age. It's fun to spend some time with her outside the gym, but she not only is mature outside of the gym, but really inside the gym as well, handles the pressure, the adversity really well. Yeah, her coaches say that one of the major reasons for her success is she is an absolute workhorse taking two to three turns more than every other gymnast in the gym. She says her teammates get a little mad at her sometimes because <laughs> she'll jump in when no one's on the bar and they'll say, hey, that was my turn. Well, no one else was going. <laughs> now, she lives with her mom, Sherry, in Delaware, just about an hour outside of Philadelphia. And her mom says, I don't know where she got all of these skills in terms of the organization, the independence, the poise, the maturity. I didn't have any of that, <laughs> but she's just had it since I can remember. Yeah, talk about an early achiever. She says that ever since three, I knew I wanted to win the Olympics. Not go to the Olympics, win the Olympics. What took so long? Three years of age? <laughs> Telling herself something, maybe singing a song here. Whatever gets you in the zone. And now over to Beam. And Japan's Mai Murakami sitting in second after two rotations. I'll tell you what, if she gets through beam, this is not a slam dunk for Morgan Hurd because Mai is fantastic on floor. So far, super confident, very calm. A little bit of a balance check there. Won the qualifying at the World Championships, and on this event, came off on a double turn. Not sure if she's taken it out. You're required to do some type of a turning element like that. Doesn't necessarily have to be as difficult as the double turn that she did. This is jam-packed. Right here. <laughs> Smart move. That was a double in Montreal, and that really is what cost her a podium finish and po quite possibly the gold medal. Powerful gymnast. Gorgeous double pike. Oh, the Rio Olympian, four-time world winner cup, and they were struggling. <laughs> it's, it's painful as a parent. Over to the beam now, and here's the American Morgan Hurd in first place after two rotations. And see, this is what I like to see. You know, she, she can see that the judges aren't ready for her, and a lot of times, you know, if you're inexperienced or uncomfortable, you... You just stand still and you stand in that exact place just waiting for the judge. She saw they weren't ready. She took her time. She walked off, put a little bit more chalk on her, on her feet. Now follow American Alan Bauer from a score of 13.766 with his parallel bars routine. Sitting alongside Yul Moldauer, who is the current leader right now in the men's standings. Yeah, both. Paul from Great Britain and Sun Wei from China on. fell on parallel bars, which opens the door. Two Oklahoma products right here, Moldauer and Bauer. Yes, they are. 
And by Murakami on the balance beam, a score of 13.6. Just over two points of deductions for her. I don't know, Tim. In my opinion, I feel like that's a little bit low on the deductions. I definitely didn't see two points worth there. Yeah, I agree. I'll tell you what, though. At the World Championships, the evaluation of balance beam was the most brutal I have ever seen on any event at any competition. Right from the start. Watch this skill right here. Very difficult. Standing full. Oh, baby. Stunning. Not one time did I see her come off the beam on that. In training here. Montreal, she was a little bit skittish on it. She was able to hold on. Actually won a silver medal on this event in Montreal at the Worlds. See her talking herself through every single skill. Philip Hedder of Germany on parallel bars. Very nice. Tell you what, though, her dismount is off the charts difficult and it's brand new so it is an upgrade from the world championships she's going to do a full twisting double but she'll keep her legs straight on it oh really good but a little bit low on that landing but that is that is tough stuff so morgan hurt Looking to maintain the lead for the women here at the American Cup in Chicago. My life is completely... Oh, Morgan Hurd maintains... ...programs. Premier Gymnastics in Downers Grove and Oswego. NBC5 proud to feature stories that are making a difference. Despite the two points of deductions for Morgan Hurd on the balance beam, she is still going to maintain her lead here in the women's competition at the American Cup. So Morgan Hurd maintains her momentum. And with more on Morgan, let's send you over to Andrea Joyce. Well, Steve, Morgan Hurd will tell you that being the world gymnastics all-around champion at age 16 is a pretty awesome thing. But gymnastics, as it turns out, is not her only passion. She also loves to read. Morgan describes herself as a Harry Potter junkie. She has been known to dress up in character and stand in long lines to get the latest release. So you can imagine her delight when she got a tweet from the Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling congratulating her on her world's success. Rowling called her a real life hero in glasses and Morgan told us that she was so excited she actually cried and when we asked her which was better the title or the tweet she thought about it for a minute and said I think it's a tie Steve well she loves to read all of her friends are always on social media but she has to have a book in her hands not even a, a Kindle she needs to feel the pages yeah, she's feeling the lead right now at the American Cup All rise for Premier League mornings on NBCSN. It's one of football's biggest rivalries as Liverpool visit the Theatre of Dreams to take on Manchester United. Always compelling at Old Trafford, and it's next Saturday at 7.30 a.m. Eastern on NBCSN. Today in Chicago, it is Morgan Hurd, the 16-year-old American reigning world champion, the leader after three rotations at this American Cup, but two Americans in the top three. You also have Miley O'Keefe. Just over a point and a half back, while on the men's side, it is Yul Moldauer, the 21-year-old from the University of Oklahoma, looking to win this event for the second year in a row. He is the leader by over two and a half points. Well, Yule and Morgan have been simply spectacular here at the American Cup this afternoon. And as far as Yule, what has stuck out the most about his performance through all of these rotations? Well, as, as close to perfection as I've seen any gymnast be. I mean, he has been phenomenal uh, from the very start till his last dismount on parallel bars. He's got over two and a half points of a lead. He can fall 
once, maybe twice on high bar and win his second in a row American Cup. And Asti, as far as Morgan Hurd coming off the momentum of the World Championships last year, but first time at this American Cup, and she is not disappointed. Not one bit, and she has showed exactly what she did at the World Championships. She is prepared, she's capable to not only handle the pressure, the nerves, the expectations, she has a, almost a point lead here going into the final event. Great floor routine coming up, but she has even more things planned. She showed me a few videos on her iPhone. Just wait later this season. So Morgan Hurd, back to action as we continue from the American Cup. The American Cup has been brought to you by Gymnastics Safe Sport. Together we can. And by the National Gymnastics Foundation Athlete Assistance Fund. Working our way towards the end of the American Cup in Chicago. An event that's been held since 1976, and the 16-year-old American Morgan Hurd, a leader by almost a point. Her fellow American, Miley O'Keefe, also in the top three. But my Murakami, you can't count her out. She's in second place, about a point behind, but she is the world champion on floor exercise. Morgan's got a hit. I'm back in straight for the win! So the warm-up continues, so we will wait for his score. In the meantime, things much tighter on the women's side as we bring you to the floor. As we mentioned, she is the reigning world champion on the floor exercise. Elmai Murakami, four-time world championship team member, part of the Japanese squad in Rio. But... She has the momentum from this event in Montreal when she won the floor at the Worlds last year. And she can do something to Morgan Hurd. She can put even more pressure on her. Yeah. Now, Mor Morgan. Morgan has actually upgraded her floor team from Montreal, having a new skill in there. So, of course, it's going to be more difficult, but we'll have to see if, you know, with a little bit of pressure, some expectations, someone right behind you. If you are able to live up to that pressure. I think she can do it. <laughs> well, a chance to post a score, put the pressure on Hurd, and if she overcomes Hurd and wins, she'll be the oldest female winner of this event in history at 21 years of age. And she is going to make Morgan Hurd earn this great, difficult exercise. And I bet you she is thinking, what if I could have had the performance I had today just a few <laughs> months ago at those World Championships? An embrace with the leader, Morgan Hurd. A lot of people ask me about that in gymnastics. You see that often on both the men's and the women's side. There's no defense in gymnastics. It kind of really breeds a camaraderie with athletes all around the world. Good job. She can't tackle Morgan Hurd during this floor routine. Oh, he's out of it. Meantime, Mai Murakami of Japan on the floor of 14-0-3-3.
So now Morgan Hurd, the leader coming into this exercise, needs better than 13.067. Which is very doable for Morgan. But as you said, Nastia, she is upgrading. She does the same mount that we saw Mai Murakami do. It's a double twisting double. And then she does the same second pass that Mai did, which is a double layout, but that's new for Morgan. She said she was going to work on her landings here, and that was great. Here's the new pass. months Morgan Hurd has had world all-around champion and now the American Cup champion that is going to be good enough to do it as we've said you want to do so many things in the sport world champion Olympic champion national champion and you want to win the American Cup check that box off Morgan Hurd two down two to go she handled such enormous pressure at the world championships in Montreal in her first world championships, had never won an individual title at an international event. The pressure of continuing the strong U.S. tradition. She answered the call there. Murakami put the pressure on her here. And once again, the 16-year-old comes through and delivers. And here's that opening pass. A double twisting, double back, two flips, two twists. Just beautiful on that landing. Oh. Bam. <laughs> awesome. And a smile to finish. <laughs> Here's the new pass. It's a double laid out somersault. This could have been better. The landing could have been better. Got a little bit hung up in the air. Has to kind of pike her legs down a little bit. Slides back and takes another step. But And here's that final tumbling pass. Again, she told us all week long she wants to clean up her landings. And just a tiny hop there. I would say mission accomplished after today. Upgraded the routine here. Has even more upgrades to come in Got this it, routine. We knew she would eventually be the champion. They can't crown it yet, but... Well, we talked about Morgan loving Harry Potter, and it did feel like there was a little bit of magic out there. Can you describe what this is like for you to follow up that world championship with this American Cup title? Oh, I just feel ecstatic. I went, I got home from Worlds, and I just didn't stop training. I still worked 110% every day, getting back into that routine shape. Took a few days off, but that's about it. And I'm just glad to see my hard work pay off. So you had said a year ago that you were worried about your lack of consistency. What's different for you now? I think Worlds definitely helped me gain my consistency a lot and just gain my confidence. I try to focus on like one skill at a time. I don't rush ahead of myself anymore. Okay, congratulations. Yeah. And you'll talk about consistency. You're the first guy in over a decade to win back-to-back -back American Cup titles. Last year sort of launched your breakthrough season. What does this one mean for you? Uh, you know, it's special. You know, I want to thank 5280. I want to thank my coaches, Vlad and Arena, and I want to thank all the guys at OU and Mark Taki and C for just helping get to where I'm at today. And every day I get to come out and represent USA. It's a big honor because it's something special. You get to represent your country. Jim Daggett said he thought this was the best he had ever seen you compete. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, uh, there are definitely things I know in my head that 
I still need a fix. Landings, of course. My high yeah, it was so bad. Well, you know, there's there's always something you can be doing. So I always, you know, take this meet and look at it, see what I need to work on, and just move on from there. All right, congratulations, Steve. Andrea, thank you very much. What stood out the most about Moldauer here today, Tim? Consistently, start to finish, just being darn near perfect. As he gets the win ahead of James Hall and Petro Pekniuk, while on the women's side, it's Morgan Hurd, really with her back up against the wall because of Murakami, but she answered the challenge. She absolutely did. She showed the world one more time what she's capable of doing. Shed so much light on the sport of gymnastics here today. Thanks for supporting. There are your winners, Hurd and Moldauer. And tonight at 8 on NBC, the NHL Stadium Series heads to Annapolis in the Naval Academy as the Toronto Maple Leafs take on the Washington Capitals. Coming up next on NBC, it's the third round of the WGC Mexico Championship. And now for Nastia Lukin, Tim Daggett, and Andrea Joyce, I'm Steve Schlanger. Thanks for joining us, everyone, as Hurd and Moldauer are the winners in 2018 as we say so long from the American Cup. The most dominant in Olympic history. Unbelievable. This has been a presentation of the Olympic Channel, home of Team USA.